Hey there, how's it going? Um, I'm just doing a quick video on Toon Boom Harmony 14. Um, and this is pretty much going to be about the transparency layer. Uh, it's just a pretty much a beginner video for transparency layers um, as far as like I was having troubles, uh, you know, adding the effect on there and so I messed around and uh, this is just some basic stuff to show you how it works with eff other effects and stuff like that. So uh, I'm used to working with two screens so unfortunately, yeah, I'll have a whole bunch of different windows. Usually I'll throw this over to my Cintiq. Um, for this, for the sake of this recording, I'll just have them in little windows right here. Um, so okay, so here we have an animation on Ryu, uh, Dark Ryu, Evil Ryu, whatever you want to call him. Uh, and uh, so I'll show you the real quick little animations going on. Not his whole body's animated, just uh, parts of it so you can throw a fireball. Um, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, uh, I went ahead and added a fireball, a blue ball. Um, so it's just a, not something simple, just a really quick animation. So it just kind of like goes like that. It's really, really simple, quick animation just to get it done. And uh, so I was having troubles. I was trying to figure out the transparency, how to add a transparency to it so you can see Ryu. Um, so it's pretty simple. All you got to do is go down here to the node library. Um, I'll show it to you right here. Um, and then you're going to go to, uh, it's under filter. I have it to my favorite set so I can use it right away. Um, so you just click on transparency and then you're going to drag it over to your node view. Uh, so you're just going to drop it over here to your node view. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about the node view. Um, if you need to look it up, you easily find tutorials on YouTube on it as far as how the composite works and the, and the you know, node views. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a transparency layer to it. So first you're going to hook this up to the composite or whichever way, it doesn't really matter. So composite, and then you're going to hook this image up. So this image to whatever you want, transparent. So you're going to hook that up to the blue, uh, to blue ball, I know. <laughs> blue ball, I, I get it. So you click on that, and then you can see, uh, let's see, hopefully that changed it. Oh, sorry. And then you're going to go to transparency, drop that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, my bad. So you don't really have to change anything. Blah blah blah. This is uh, if you want to change the transparency, make it brighter. Um, so you need to go ahead and just click that out of the composite. And the only thing you're going to be hooking up the transparent in order for it to work, uh, the blue ball can't be connected. <laughs> the blue ball can't be connected to the composite. It has to be taken out. And uh, the only thing that you want hooked up is the transparency layer right here. Okay, so then like you have that set up and now it's like you can see it's like, you know, transparent now. Whoa. So if you render it too, if you see the render, it's going to be show it rendered, it's going to be transparent. Um, so, and then one more thing real quick that I want to show you is uh, say like, hey, okay, I got a transparent, so what if I want to add an effect? Um, okay, so say you want to add, a, you know, if you want to add a glow or something. It should be under my favorite. So say I want to add a glow just to make the Powerball, you know, glow. Like, oh, it's a Powerball. It's going to glow. And then say, like, okay, so here's the image. I'm going to hook up the image to the ball and then connect this to the composite. And then, you know, oh, so you can rent. So now it looks like it's transparent, right? So you're like, yeah, it works and everything. But if you go here, um, oh, shit. No, never mind. It works. All right. My bad. So, yeah, all you got to do really is just hook up the image to the ball and then hook that glow up here and just add it in front. I think if you add it over here it'll still show. Yeah, no, it'll still show. Oh, that's odd. Alright, yeah, and so yeah, if you connect it to the actual image right here, it'll still glow. I don't think you can add an image over here right now. It'll just disappear. Okay, so yeah, it works right here. Um, if for some reason it doesn't work, you can always add a transparency as well. Um, there might be certain effects that might be harder to uh, to fix, but you can also just go ahead and add a transparency to this one. Just hook that up. Sorry, hook that up here, and I think it'll create the same effect. I just add the transparency here. So yeah, it'll, it'll make the glow transparent as well. But I mean, if you're not having problems, I wouldn't bother with it. So yeah, so here's the whole thing, da -da -da. Uh, and it glows and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and once again, it's just a simple tutorial for transparency since I was like really wondering about it and I was having troubles with it. So hopefully this helps anybody. Really, really, once again, just a beginner course. And I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, once I figure things out that are beginner level 
or to intermediate level. I'm just going to post them just in case anybody who hasn't seen them. All right, well, have a good day.